Hey indie game fans! Sometimes, with the world being what it is, video games can be an excellent, calming and healing experience to take your mind off worrying about the future for a little bit, so here are the top 10 upcoming cute and wholesome indie games for 2019 and beyond, which are basically games that make you go Aww. Oh, expect loads of doggos for sure. Special shoutout goes to Ooblets, which, PR blunder aside, looks like a wonderful cross between Animal Crossing and Pokemon, only where the Ooblets face off in dance battles instead of To the Rescue is a simulation game where you run the local dog shelter, taking care of dogs while they await their forever home. First things first, look at the art style. So cute and very calm and pleasant. Feed, bathe and play with dogs which will let you get a feel of their individual personalities but do watch out for diseases as well. You can expand your shelter but that takes money and budget is always tight so these are the push factors. However, to be able to find these dogs a suitable owner and a home seems like such an immensely satisfying task. As of this video, the game is already fully funded on Kickstarter with additional dogs, animations and platforms as stretch goals, and in another wholesome move, 20% of all profits from post-Kickstarter sales will be donated to real-life animal shelters as well. Okay, On the other side of the furry coin are cats, of course, and Minico's Night Market is just the thing an exploration adventure game where cats can be grown in the ground, play as Mineko, who is looking for the mystical Sun Cat Abe on the Japanese-inspired Mount Fugu Island. This is kinda like Animal Crossing, which seems to be the last bastion of wholesome games in the AAA space, but with an increased emphasis on story, crafting and exploration. Of course, the multitude of adorable cats are the draw, Aww. But there is a weekly night market in which you can set up your store to sell whatever you found as well as take part in night market games and activities which is just wonderful. This one caught me by surprise since Letters, A Written Adventure is a puzzle platformer where you play as an 11 year old girl writing to a pen pal, which as a side note, do people even do this and more? However, you are able to change and alter the words changing the narrative and the story that you are telling your friend. And this game has the innocence of youth on its side. Aww. It's always weird for adults to have to put themselves into the shoes of children when making games like this, so we'll see how it turns out but so far it does look pretty interesting with a very clever UI since the character is moving around the lines of text on screen. No lie, Cat Dog was one of my favourite cartoons growing up, so Dog Dog and Fogs immediately grabbed my attention. This is a local co-op puzzle adventure where each player controls one head of the dog and must work together to advance in the self-titled Foggyverse.
Spirit Spiritfarer is a cozy management game where you play as the fairy master to the deceased, having to care for and befriend your spirit buddies while guiding them into the afterlife. Aww. While death is not exactly the most light-hearted subject, there certainly seems to be closure in this, and while saying goodbye is always bittersweet, Grief is something that we all have to deal with, so this does seem to be rather wholesome as well. On top of expanding your ferry and building custom rooms for your friends, there's farming, mining, fishing, cooking, weaving and more, even with platforming sections, so a very nice mix of things that I like in games. Interestingly, this is from Thunder Lotus Games, developers of Jotun and Sundered, so something very different from the team. Pokemon Snap, but with dots, is the elevator pitch for Paparazzi a clever pun which, of course, has even more adorable dogs. Aww. These even wear clothes and human accessories, with a rather freeform gameplay structure where you can either go after that elusive celebrity dog or just to take pictures of whatever cute dogs you come across. <laughs> Did you know that packing and moving house is one of the most stressful life events? And packing is the reverse of that, since you, well, unpack the possessions of this character and place them where you would be able to find them. Part item Tetris, part home decoration, sort, organize and categorize items, and uncover clues about the life you are unpacking. There's a certain zen-like quality to this, which I really do appreciate, and the game encourages that as well, with no timers, points or meters, and just seems like a relaxing, chill time. Aww. There's a weird intimacy that you will develop from unpacking this character's life, which is just a little bit creepy, but role-playing as the character should mitigate that, and of course, I have to shout out the pixel art. Garden Story is a simulation action-adventure game where you play as this adorable, grape-like creature. Aww. Newly appointed as the village guardian, and you have to solve the mystery of the rot. Think Stardew Valley meets Zelda, and you can understand my hype. The developer of Sushi Wowlands dropped me a DM on Twitter, and boy, I was very impressed. One part Slime Rancher and one part Sushi Shop Keeping Simulator, adventure into the Sushi Wowlands to catch Sushimon. Build your farm, harvest ingredients, and craft the most awesome sushi to be the best sushi chef in the village.
concept alone is a delight to me since A. I love Slime Rancher and B. I love sushi as well. So mixing the two instantly got my attention. It also helps that the visuals and the variety in the biomes are impressive, and I can't wait to see more Sushimon designs. Developer Greg Lobanov was behind the wholesome, wonderful game Wonder Song last year. And Chikari, A Colourful Tale is his next title in collaboration with some big names in the indie game space. Use your magic paintbrush to restore colour to the world in this puzzle exploration game. Painting and colours in games is a fun concept. See Paper Mario Colour Splash, so this looks to continue that great trend. I love the art style, and the painting mechanic looks awesome, and as of this video, the game is also fully funded on Kickstarter. If his previous work is anything to go by, this will definitely make you go Aww.